Back to the breaking news we brought you at the top of the show. A student accused of threatening to shoot up a UNC Charlotte is now under arrest. We first told you about this student last week. He was picked up by the Forsyth County Sheriff's Office today after UNCC police got an arrest warrant. NBC Charlotte Savannah Levins live where university officials just wrapped up a news conference about the arrest. Savannah, what can you tell us? Well, Sarah, just a few seconds ago, I finished speaking with the police chief, so I'm going to try to go over everything he just said. It's a lot of information. We do know this 20 year old student has been arrested. And again, like you mentioned, we first told you about these search warrants last week. Police say they found some blueprints, some very disturbing documents, they said. Although tonight, the police chief says they did not find any firearms or weapons, nor do they believe that this particular student was in the process of buying any weapons. However, certainly concerning enough to put in a warrant for his arrest and then take him into custody today. Now, this all started after the student reportedly told his doctor his plans to shoot up the school. The doctor then obviously concerned went to police officials and now we know this all coming to a head now with that arrest. Students were notified. Uh, campus officials telling us that security is obviously their number one priority and while they didn't find any again weapons on this student, they are concerned and they do want to make sure that this student in the future does not have the opportunity to purchase weapons. So he has been put on what the police chief tells me is a Nix check list. So if he does ever try to purchase firearms in the future, officials will be notified that he is a part of this investigation. But we will certainly bring you more details as we get them. That's all we have right now. This charge he's facing is a class one felony. Reporting live at USCC, I'm Savannah Levins for NBC Charlotte. Savannah, thank you.